What's going on guys, I Legend here back with the video and today we're going to be doing a sheltered breakdown and guide <clears throat> uh, and showcase of course. Now before the video starts, I've started doing a new thing. Every video you'll have a new chance to be added to my friends list. I'll be clearing people in and out and obviously I've got a lot of gifts stacked up. I'll be giving them out to anyone who's on my friends list. Um, <clears throat> I even have a lot of golden gifts so first come first serve. Uh, just leave your uh, like the video, subscribe, leave a comment down below with your in-game name, and I will select a few and send out the friend requests. And no worries about checking too often because I'll just send uh, I'll just send a few requests and then uh, let it sit until y'all accept. So if you're one of the lucky ones, um, congrats. Go ahead and do that if you want to be added to my friends list. Uh, now, yeah, and if you miss it, uh, you can always come back to the next video, and I'll be doing it every video. For at least two people, I'd say between two to five people a video, who comment down below. So you have a pretty good chance of being added. Um, <clears throat> as it goes here, we're going to be showcasing uh, Sheltered, who is one of the best parasols. Maybe the best um, because of the fact that she's so cheap to upgrade. Now basically what Shelter does is as you increase your crit rate, or she increases crit rate with her special ability and her signature ability and <clears throat> on critical hits you'll also be gaining in rage so she can work as partly a support fighter as well because she can increase the crit rate for everybody but just for herself she'll crit more often and then when she crits she'll gain in rage and that'll just boost her damage a lot uh as for marquee abilities you always want to run critical mass because she'll be critical hitting so much already you really want to get the most out of that crit damage so <clears throat> Definitely want to run, run that. As for moves, tier play is not as important with her because it doesn't, it's not super integral, like it is to primed. Uh, it's not super integral to her ability. So you want to run a lot of moves that are going to do a lot of damage when you land crits with them, like Napalm Shot, Silent Scope, Motor Brigade. Uh, canopy Bounce is always a good move to have on Parasol. And also Inferno Brigade is wonderful because I believe um, <clears throat> with the uh, Enrage on every crit, this is basically just going to be a plus 5 Inferno Brigade because it hits so many times, you'll instantly hit 5 crits and it'll just be a, it'll just be a full 5-stack uh, Enrage Inferno Brigade the whole time, basically. So it will do wonders for damage if you want to run that as well. <clears throat> so that's a pretty good set here. Um, I think I want to actually switch out... Let me see, do I have a good shot? I should have a good shot somewhere here. Yeah, I don't need this on no egrets. Um, <clears throat> switch that out for a shot. And let me see. I'll throw maybe a Valentine in the back. And uh, that, that works pretty well. <clears throat> and we're going to be showcasing sheltered against large, large fighting teams like this. Um, large fighter score teams like this one with a 19k bio exorcist. Now what I'm going to do here is just, I'm not going to risk getting hit at the very beginning, like if I'd rushed in right rushed in right there I would have gotten hit and probably dead because she's so much more powerful than me. But I'm just going to make sure that I, um, I hit her and I don't let her, shoot I messed that up, I don't let her um, get her abilities charged because it's going to be very frustrating fighting a bio exorcist if she gets her abilities charged. Shoot I actually missed that pick up there after the juggle. Uh, but it's okay because we're going to juggle her and hit her with this. <clears throat> and if you can see there, we are only 3k power and we are absolutely shredding through this 20k power bio exorcist. And that's mainly because of our uh, insane ability to do so much damage. Now double comes out and we're just going to keep pounding away at her right off the bat. We're actually just going to hit her with this uh, BB3 and that's going to wipe her completely down to zero. And that double was at double is over 8k power it's over double our our power and we just killed her in 1bb3 and that's mainly because of the insane amount of damage that uh, sheltered can do we're gonna try for the pickup there I missed it again I really need to practice my pickups with um, canopy bounce after juggles especially because those are looking super rusty uh, we're gonna catch her with this and this should also finish her and revive her teammates uh, I'm just going to have to make sure I don't get caught by a uh, bio exorcist here in any way. And we're going to finish her with the Inferno Brigade. <clears throat> now, as Double rushes in, we're going to try to shoot her and hopefully crit for the win. There we go, solid. Um, and that was just a little bit of solid play, using my abilities to their fullest. 
Uh, I didn't even use the surge in support, even though she's there, and it's a 60% long shot right off the bat. It would have been much a much higher long shot if I didn't bring the surge in, but I don't want to end up losing the streak and having to restart the video. I am recording. Okay, good. <clears throat> Just checking there because I thought for a second I might have forgot to hit record, and that would have been very bad. So that's the first game. We're going to hop back into the one, obviously, refill. Oh, wow, I have 188 energy refills. Uh, we're obviously going to refill Shelter there so that we can keep showcasing her right off the bat here. And we're just going to hop back into it. And we're just going to do our best to hit Peacock. And <laughs> she's just getting shredded right now. I'm dishing out 10k a crit shot, and I'm only at 3k power. Um... <clears throat> and that, I think that was a pretty, I didn't have very much enrage, it was a pretty low, low enrage shot as well, and it did 10k damage to the peacock. Go with that, there we go, we're already hitting 19k with a few stacks of enrage. Hopefully this will chip her out, and we can just go with an Inferno Brigade, which will likely, yep, yeah, one-shot her. <clears throat> so if, if any of you guys need a cheap, uh, glass cannon character, I highly recommend, um, sheltered because all you have to do is play safe play with your abilities the way they're supposed to be used and she can absolutely do wonders for just about anybody because <clears throat> she she does so much damage all you got to watch out for is that she's quite um here i don't need any insurance where's uh where's some weak shelters i'll throw in to have a triple shelter team she is uh so powerful but you just have to watch out for her being pretty squishy because she is a bronze fighter natural bronze fighter so her, st her health especially is not very good um, <clears throat> because she's mainly built to be an offensive fighter so obviously as it is with most um, offensive parasols not a lot of health so you got to watch out for that but support her with a little bit of uh, surgeon action to help shoot I missed the L1 support her with some surgeon or some trauma center action on Valentine or just play with her safely, and you can have a very, uh, very strong fighter for sure. Uh, hopefully gonna pick her up here with the canopy bounce, and that's gonna kill. <clears throat> I'm gonna hopefully chip her out into the Inferno Brigade. Okay, not quite a kill there off the bat, but... I'm gonna grab her for the win there. <clears throat> Inferno Brigade again doing like 90% to a Bella that's like two, three times my power there. Honestly, really satisfied with how well Sheltered's doing in this prize fight. And that's just an 80% long shot right there. I could pretty easily hit a 100% long shot if, um, <clears throat> if I can find a team. I think it'll allow you to hit 100%. I'm not sure. I haven't seen higher than a 90. But you could do it, I'm sure, with Sheltered because of <clears throat> just the insane amount of power she packs. Here we're going to really put her to the test against the 20k power heavy handed. The main problem here would be is if heavy handed actually starts to charge her charge attack because that would be very bad for us. We're going to confirm that into a 14k crit. Solid damage and we're just going to wait for her here. I hope she doesn't. Okay good she's going to commit there. Jab one into canopy bounce. To shot and scope. Okay. She is still alive, uh, which is the problem with her having so much power is that I wasn't able to kill her there. Uh, but we're going to start doing this against the bio, hopefully remove her uh, buffs there, and kill her on wake up maybe. And she does not actually have... Um, I thought that might combo, that's not good. Uh, <clears throat> good. Okay, shoot, it didn't quite kill. Um, <clears throat> Bio did not have a uh, marquee ability, which was very helpful for us because... Uh, because I didn't want to have to... Shoot, I missed the conversion for like the fifth time today. I swear to God, I can't hit that for anything. Uh, it would have been really bad if Bio had, um, had a marquee ability because then we would have had to play around her dead body, but we didn't, and that ended in a flawless victory there just about for us. We only took a little bit of chip damage that game. That could have gotten really scary, to be honest, with um, <clears throat> another 80% long shot. Could have gotten really scary with the heavy handed because she had unblockable charged and obviously she has the access to unflinching. Ooh, two of them, two of the scary pain wheels. Um, she has access to unflinching with her uh, special ability, but it did not 
and I didn't get scary because we ended up cleaning that out pretty quickly. <clears throat> uh, so for this one, we are, I think this is going to be our last game here. I'm going to go in with Sheltered against this Triple Diamond team. I think Triple Natural Diamond. So, oh, hold on, let me check what she does. Okay, good. She's going to drain my block, uh, just going to drain my Blockbuster meter, which is definitely actually going to be scary unless if I can, uh, if I cannot. There, good. And we're going to shoot her. Okay, good. Solid. I just had to get a... It was going to be scary unless I could get a solid combo like that, but I managed to pull one out and... And finish her off. And that should be Assassin's Greed down. This is actually a bit scary because... Um, I need to catch a Peacock there, and this should finish her. Good. Solid. <clears throat> I was almost scary because the Assassin's Greed slash Neuromancer actually ended up doing a bit of chip damage to me. But I managed to pull that out there for another flawless, almost flawless victory. <clears throat> I didn't get hit, but I did take a bit of chip damage. Uh, I think that's going to be that for this video. That was a sheltered uh, showcase. Again, here's mine. It's not a particularly strong sheltered, but I was able to showcase very well how strong she is. Uh, <clears throat> and these are a decent set of moves here. You definitely want to focus mainly on attack, crit damage, uh, crit rate, and defense meter gain. The, the, the usual, but mostly on offensive stats. As for that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and hope you guys leave a comment down below with your name. I love y'all. Thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all again soon. Peace.